as efficient as ever, Calmac. Uh, we should have been on the 215 ferry. Um, we went on standby and we're on the 1225 ferry for our 45 minute crossing over to the Isle of Mull. Um, it's a bit of a rainy day, but it's, uh, we're standing outside on the deck. This is Poppy's first, she's told she's been a car dog, a van dog, and now she's a boat dog. So we'll see how we get on.
We're staying at Tobermory campsite on the Isle of Mull. Follow me and I'll give you a little bit of a guided tour. It caters for just about everybody here. Tents, caravans, motorhomes. So when you arrive, you pull up by the carving of the otter. And there we are on our little pitch there, next to one of the shepherd's huts that's on site. And you park here and then you walk down to reception and check in and I'll show you where that is. All the motorhome and tent pictures seem to be on this side of the river and the tents are on a separate field area down there and as you walk round you can see that you've got some pretty decent sized pictures here. All these are hard standing uh, most of the ones for motorhomes and caravans seem to be hard standing and the ones for tents are obviously down onto the grass. All got electric cook up and across here you've got your motorhome service area. Um, it's not probably quite as what you'd, you'd get on a big site but you've got the grate for uh, grey water, drinking water and also chemical disposal. So it's really quite uh, close to where you're going to be pitching your stain on site. There's a lovely river that runs through the site and you can probably just see the little bridge that leads over to where the rest of the facilities are. Motorhomes uh, can't go over the bridge, they're likely to stay on this site here but if you've got family coming then there are the shepherd's huts that you can rent out and there's also a number of static caravans as well that you can uh, rent and stay in. And on this side here you've just got all your um, rubbish, recycling and everywhere you look it's all very well signposted as to where everything, everything is. And I have to say, the views from the site are absolutely beautiful. In the field at the side of us, we had deer in it all last night and we were watching those and it was absolutely beautiful. So you walk down here, there is the sign that says strictly no motorhomes beyond this point and you can probably see why this is the bridge that takes you over the river. Now there's two lots of toilets and showers on site. Oh, wonderful sound of running water. It rained quite a lot last night and uh, the river's going to be quite, uh, quite forceful I think given the amount of uh, rain that we had. But it's where all you get access to the statics and again you can see it's all very well signposted round to reception. You've got a uh, hand sanitizer here and you've got an outside dishwashing area that is actually covered and then just across there in the white building you've got two separate sets of showers and toilets you go down there and you walk down to reception there is a nice little uh, grassed area on this side and a little bit of a parking area that you can look at and I'm sure on a nice day which it has been I have to say this afternoon there's plenty of room for you to, to sit and enjoy the beautiful countryside that you can see. So there are, um, there's a picnic table just there if you want to enjoy having a bit of lunch outside. But as I take you back round this way, there's another um, shower block. Now these are all open here at the minute. The uh, Covid restrictions have been relaxed. So you can use toilets and showers. They are closed like you would expect for a couple of hours during the day for them to be cleaned. So if we walk back round this way, again you get the sun just starting to set now. And as we go round, you see again, very well signposted, back to the showers and to the toilets round this side just here. They've even put down, oh, they've put down the red gravel. They're obviously expecting us. Not a red carpet, but red gravel. And so as you go around, you can see you've got men's shower and toilet, and you've got ladies' showers and toilets as well. All very COVID-19 safe and secure. So, that's the site. It is uh, from here. It's, an, it's fair to say it's an undulating 20 minute walk down into town. It might take you a little bit longer to come back uh, because it's predominantly uphill. Um, but there is a taxi service 
which the owner of the site here will give you the contact details for if you need that. It's great to bike from here and uh, in Tobermory, as you would imagine, there's all the shops. There's a little co-op there, so you can get most of the supplies and everything that you need. Not, not many supplies from the uh, shop here or at reception, but everything else is very well catered for. You can arrive motorhomes from 1.30 and the checkout time is 11 o'clock. And you can see all the pictures are marked out. One of the other nice things about it is there is some artificial grass down to the side. So if you did want to put out um, any sort of awning or if you wanted to um, just have your hab door coming out onto a softer surface, then you've definitely got that. But all in all, um, a really good site. It's very quiet. There's not many people on the island at the minute. Um, and there's no real ambient lighting at night. So if you do get a really clear night, seeing the stars would be fantastic um, and that's about it so head torch is required at night if you're going to the water or if you're going to the chemical disposal point but other than that here we are back at the van with a very inquisitive cockapoo wondering where on earth i've been